Here's Hashem All Things Dentistry, the place where we're passionate about sharing those unwritten hints and tips of dentistry. This is going to be a really short one, and it happened this morning, and we had unwinding of the flutes. So you can see here, we had unwinding of the flutes. Now, that's a great thing. You may think like, oh, no, your files, you know, were so close to fracture. And hell yeah, we didn't fracture. We're super close. So what I'll do is that, and you can see that we're actually not even down to work in ink. We're just opening the chromal two-thirds. So what I had sensed was it was, you know, I had my glide path for the 10 file. You can see what we're trying to do is I'm trying to open to the coronal two thirds, just like we talk about in our course at allthingsendo.ca. And we're opening the coronal two thirds. And even then, we still had some unwinding of the flute. So it's important to be able to pull your file out here and there once in a while through treatment, just to make sure you have a fracture or prevent a fracture down the road. So this is really simple. All I got to do is ask for a new file. Uh, boom, and like magic. Down we go. And then what happens is a number of things happen. One, we limit the probability of having that fracture. Then two, my confidence goes back up in the sense that this was a four canal molar. It was moderately calcified. The canals were fairly difficult to get down. And that file is just not making its way. Arguably, reciprocating files are a little bit slower uh, than... I, I love them because they're, I find they're much more safe, but they're a little bit slower to get down canals. And sure enough, now... I can get back on my get back on the horse and like yeah we're good to go. So one of the things so what's really important to pull your file out here and there to make sure that the flutes you know they're unwinding. But the second thing that's really important is to know what pattern. So let's take a look in the mirror. You can see right here to kind of memorize what the pattern is of your file. For example, let's take a look at a fresh wave on gold. So it's a little bit out of there we go, right there, right there. You can see, let's take a look at the helical pattern. So I know after using this after thousands of times that this is the pattern of the apical portion of the flutes. Now, I'll be honest, when I switched, when I was using Vortex Blue before, it took me a while to, un to know the pattern because Vortex Blue up uh, along the flutes was a little bit up the file. The flutes were in a longer, the helical pattern wasn't as tight, as wound as the apical portion. And the reason why they do that is so the file doesn't screw in as much, just like a fine screw. Anyway, so it's important to know, kind of have an idea of what the file looks like. And I mean, if you're doing endo, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You pull the file out, you're like, ooh, does that look like it's unwinding or doesn't? So just, you know, have an idea before. And then, you know, that visualization pattern. And if it looks like it's unwinding, go ahead and just replace it. Replace that file because it's cheaper to, it's, replace it to, it's cheaper to replace a file now than to sort out trying to, you know, get the file out if it's if it fractures, especially it may affect your outcome if there's a lesion of endodontic origin and it's one of your first files down the canal. Anyways, check us out at allthingsendo.ca for one of my endo courses. And other than that, thanks so much for joining us.